Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Leonard Toys Walmart exclusive Berserker Predator figure. So before we take a look at the Predator, let's take a look at the only accessory that he comes with. So first up, the Predator comes with an alternate shoulder cannon, and it's just done in a silver color, but it has some pretty good sculpt detail to it. Now, changing this out is pretty difficult. Um, I have a fear that I will break it because the shoulder cannon is on a ball joint. And as you can see, the plastic is turning a little bit white right there where I've switched it out previously. So there the Predator is with that shoulder cannon on there. And like I said, it's it's pretty difficult to get on there. It is a very tight fit. Um, so I'd recommend just leaving one cannon on it because it, it feels like it might break. So taking a look at the head sculpt, Laird Toys did a really good job on this. I mean, for a $10 toy, it looks really nice. The helmet looks good. It's got a little bit of marbleization and some texturing to it. It's done in that sort of bronze color. And the jawbone is uh, it's done in a yellowish color. And it's really plain, but I think a black wash would really bring out all the details on this figure really nicely. Here is the shoulder cannon that he comes with in the package. And like I said, there you can see that the plastic is turning white a little bit from where I've taken the shoulder cannon on and off. The armor is cast in the same color that the helmet is cast in, in that bronze marbleized color. And the skin is done in a green color. And there you can see some of the pattern on the scales, the red and the dark green. And the whole figure has some really nice texturing to him. But like I said, um, there's no sort of wash or anything that would bring this out. But I'm definitely going to be doing a wash on this just to bring out all of those details. And the straps on the torso are painted. On the forearms, the, the strap right here isn't painted. So it would have been cool if they would have painted that. The wrist blade looks really, really nice. And there are the hands. The uh, the fingernails aren't painted on. Again, this is this is marketed more towards kids, so of course you're not going to have the level of paint of NECA. But for $10, it's really nice. You get this loincloth, and it's really soft plastic. That way the articulation isn't hindered. It, the articulation on this really surprised me. Um, when I show that off, you'll see what I mean. As you can see, the red mist is marked by just a little bit. Um, the red lines could have been centered a little bit better. And on the left side, eh, they came out a little bit wavy too, but I think it looks a little bit better on this side. And again, you get the texturing on the legs and the dark green painted on there. And then you have the boots. They're done in that same bronze color, but the straps aren't painted on. It would have been nice if they would have painted at least the straps on, um, instead of just leaving them the skin tone color right there. So now let's go ahead and go over his articulation. He has a ball jointed head that can look up all the way, which really surprised me. He got some really good articulation there. He can look down all the way. He can move his head side to side. And it can also rock back and forth there. Also, I forgot to mention the uh, the dreads were sculpted also pretty nicely. But yeah, they don't look bad for the most part. He has a shoulder can that can move side to side and up and down just slightly. He has ball jointed shoulders that can move all the way out. He has single jointed elbows that can only bend in a little bit. Um, that is hindered a little bit there. He has ball jointed wrists, but uh, due to the blade being there, it only moves side to side that much and only up and down slightly. He has ball jointed waist that can move back all the way and can crunch forward all the way and move side to side and tilt. He has ball jointed hips that can only move out that far, but he can kick forward all the way and he can kick back all the way. He has a single jointed knee that can bend in that far and he has ball jointed ankles that can move down, up, side to side and rock so the the ball jointed ankles on him work really nicely they allow some pretty good motion there so yeah the articulation on this really surprised me you know for a ten dollar toy like when compared to the basic hasbro figures um the articulation is pretty much just the bare minimum on them but this has some really nice articulation to it so now let's do some size comparisons the first up there he is next to the NECA ultimate jungle hunter predator and as you can see, the NECA one is taller. So there he is next to him. There he is next to the Marvel Legends Mr. Fantastic figure. And these figures are taller than Marvel Legends. Here he is next to the basic Gameverse Captain America figure. And for a basic figure, this thing can't stand up. Um, this figure doesn't have a whole lot of paint detail. 
but it has a bunch of scope detail and it's painted uh, better than this. But yeah, this Captain America doesn't want to stand up and the articulation is not good on him like this one is. Here he is next to the Beskar Mandalorian from Star Wars The Black Series. And finally, here he is next to the DC Multiverse Superman figure. And as you can see, they're, they are just about the same height. So yeah, they even scale with uh, McFarlane. The only thing they don't scale with is NECA. So overall, I would highly recommend this figure. For $10, it is really nice. Uh, the paint could use some work, but like I said, for $10, you're not going to get, of course, NECA's level of paint on it. But yeah, the articulation and sculpt is really nice for a $10 toy. So I would highly recommend it. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.